Never fear, Alvin's here. You're watching TJV. Diesel! Good morning! Definitely morning. Definitely morning. Morning there. Good morning, stranger. Good morning, nice Peterbilt. Good morning, nice Freightliner. It's gonna be a good day. I've decided this once again, so it will be so. It's gonna be a good day. We're trucking, what could go wrong? <laughs> I realized how that sounded when it came out of my mouth. What could go wrong? I don't know. Trucking? Well, that's okay, just because things go wrong doesn't mean it's gonna be a bad day. I mean, maybe nothing will go wrong. I don't know. Good morning, Mr. Herb. Everyone is so friendly out here. All right, bud. Wow. It's quite the load there, eh, Weasel? Wouldn't that be fun to pull that? Wow, that's a long load. He's already sticking way out, and he's up on here. <laughs> it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do to get the job done, right? You don't want your nose sticking way out in traffic. That's just asking for your hood to get ripped off. And be careful with some of these drivers out here. If you forgot and you haven't watched yesterday's video yet, shame, go watch yesterday's video. Go watch yesterday's video. But if you didn't, this is the load we're pulling. Apparently it's, it's farm equipment. Under a big blue tarp. Three of them actually. We're taking this to Red Deer, Alberta. I picked it up near Winnipeg, Manitoba. We're up here in Western Canada on the prairies. Uh, and we slept here in Balgoni, Saskatchewan. It's just outside of Regina, the capital of Saskatchewan. I know, exciting places, exciting places. I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad I could share this moment with you. Diesel, what are you eating? Nothing. Just spits it out as soon as I said that. What were you eating? A stick. It was a piece of wood. Yes. It looks like a tree. It, it, it wasn't. That's right! Woo! That's the way you start the day! Sneeze like a man! Right, Diesel? Don't look at me like that, man. Alright, we're all set and ready to rock. Woo! Alright, excited. I got some breakfast here, got some coffee here. Put her in gear. Fill her up with air. Turn the lights on. Pause for a moment. Roll forward just a sec. Just a bit. Pull the trailer brake. Just to double, triple check that what you saw out there is true. It's connected. Off we go, trying to avoid the potholes. Oh, oh, caught some. There's some big ones right there. They got cones in them, they're so big. Look out, you might lose your truck here. Don't do it. Don't do it. We've had to call the tow truck 10 times yesterday. Watch this one right here. Put the cone right in the middle of the hole. We're in Speedy Creek, formerly known as Swift Current, Saskatchewan. You want to see it? I'll give you a glimpse here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Wonderful. We're here at the, the Tim Hortons. I parked in the back corner here because Diesel and I are going to do our walk right now. He wants to go outside, go for a walk. Yeah? I'm going to check out Swift Current. Let's do it. It's kind of overcast here. 
Looks like there might be a slight chance of rain. Let's quickly check the forecast, shall we? Know how we should dress. Always know before you go. Come on, Google. It is 17 degrees Celsius in swift current. No chance of rain. Oh, wait. 24% chance. I like those odds. We'll take it. One second. What is 17 Celsius in Fahrenheit? 17 degrees Celsius is equal to 62.6 .6 degrees Fahrenheit. There you go for my American friends. Try not to fall out of the truck. Diesel, you just wait. I'm going to come around to your side, okay? No, no, no. You can't come out this side, man. I'm going to come to your side. You have your own door. Pretty cool, eh? Oh, much better. Still doesn't use the last two steps. I paid for all five, you know. That joke is getting old, man. Stop it. It's embarrassing. Gotta get my fitness app all set up here so I can feel good about myself later and brag about how far I went. Dun, dun. At my fitness. Boom. Workout begun. All right, Diesel, I have no idea where we're going. Where do you want to go? You lead the way, man. I'm following you. Let's go a little further than that bag, though, okay? Here we go. Come on. How about let's go this way, if you're undecided? I can't make up my mind, man. There's so many possibilities. Swift current is so exciting. I'm just going to mark this little bush here so they know I was here, just in case any ladies come by. That one, that, that one was mine. They'll, they'll smell me. Lord Jesus was here. Oh, this one's pretty nice too. Oh, I should have saved some for this one. That's, that's a big one. Very nice. Someone else was here. Can't quite make it. I think his name was Greg. You know, I think I got some left. I think I got some. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I'll save it for a different one. Oh, look at this one over here. Back here, way back here, man. Follow me. Guess we're going down here. Good thing we parked all the way to the back. Oh, Diesel, don't pull me down the hill. I don't want to fall. Going down this way. There's no like rattlesnakes or anything in Saskatchewan, is there? Should I be uh, on the lookout here in the long grass? I don't think so. In Manitoba, there's nothing to worry about in the long grass. Except for garter snakes. They might catch you off guard. <laughs> That's why they're garter snakes to catch you off guard. Oh, there's a hole. Oh my goodness, guys. Guys, look at this. Oh, there's another one over here. My goodness. Is there any more? I bet you there's more. This way. Diesel, I think I saw more that way. Nope, nope, they're definitely not that way. They're this way. This way. Oh my goodness, the big one. Look at this. That's a big tree. More big trees. Wow. Wonder how old these are. I say they're older than you, man. Which is old. It's very old. Thanks, Diesel. motivates me, inspires me to make our home better too when I get back. Got yeah, quite the view out this way, across the street. That's nice. Hey Diesel. You're not, you're not getting tired yet, are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good, man. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Good to go. You getting tired, man? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. You sound tired, Diesel. Not tired, not tired at all. We have water when we get back, right? Yeah, yeah, we got water. You bought it, my boat. Yeah. When was that? We're both getting older. 
but we've also gotten fatter and that's probably the main issue that's why we're out here doing this and exploring beautiful swift current at the same time Feel good, Diesel? Get your walk in? Yeah, that was fun. We uh, we walked, how far did we walk again? So our little hike was 3.38 kilometers. What is, what is 3.38 kilometers in miles? 3.38 kilometers is equivalent to 2.1 miles. Okay, so just over two miles. Not bad, not bad. We'll work our way up to three miles a day. Two miles is pretty good. Time to hit the road again. You ready, Diesel? That was fun. That was fun. I've missed exploring. Now I've seen a part of Swift Current that I didn't even know existed, and it was very nice. We'll slowly make our way out of this uh, Tim Hortons parking lot here. Try not to lose a wheel or half our truck in these potholes. One thing I'm getting for old blue, uh, when I put the, eventually, when I put the big bumper on her, or him, or it, whatever it is, when I get the big bumper, it's gonna be a, a power lift bumper. So I'll just hit a button on my dash here somewhere, and the bumper will actually go and lift up so that I can go through these potholes and rough parking lots without worrying about bending my bumper on the ground. It'll also be handy for winter time when there's snow banks and stuff. Definitely adding that. Because I don't want to put a bumper on to make it look all nice just to bend it in Tim Horton's parking lot. Very fancy Cadillac. Very fancy. I am impressed. I am impressed. Lord Diesel's motorcade commences. I was extremely rude, Karen, interrupting me like that. You're always talking over me. My GPS is updating over there off my uh, mobile Wi-Fi. Needed quite a bit of updates. See if I remember how to get out of swift current here. Turn left here. Up the service road. And I think up over there somewhere it leads me back onto the highway, which is right over there. Here we go. Turn in here. Trans Canada, number one, west, this way. And now we can give her. On the road again. Went on a walk and now I'm driving again. Try not to get too fat because I sit all day long. But I'm glad to be back on the road again. There's the Saskatchewan welcome sign over there. Ah, you beat me to it today. 
just gonna tell them we're getting into Alberta. She's more on the ball today. I think I hurt her feelings yesterday when I told her she's slow. Good job, Karen. I'm gonna stop in Medicine Hat at the Flying J, grab myself a bean to cup coffee, and we'll continue on to Red Deer. It's good to be back in Alberta. Looks like it's about to rain. Driving right into that. I hope that's not headed west or headed east towards Manitoba, though it probably is. I mean, we're probably gonna be driving in that all the way home tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I hope it rains overnight and I don't have to roll up my tarps and tarp the second load in the rain. I mean, if I have to, I have to, but one can hope. Nothing wrong with hoping. heavy rain holy smokes it's quite the system I came up fast yikes Alberta didn't you know I had enough rain back in Manitoba I didn't come visit you just for more rain man that looks like it's coming down hard up ahead there Whew. That's probably about five miles up, maybe 10, five, 10 miles up. It's hard to tell from here. Really not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> I, it looked like it was just gonna be a downpour. We got through the dark section and nothing happened. And it just sort of passed over us with a little bit of a sprinkle here. And it was lightening up again. I think this is a new Petro Pass truck stop just south of Red Deer. I never knew it was here. Huh. Well, we found it. Hopefully there'll be parking here for us. This will be just around the corner from my delivery tomorrow morning, so this is perfect. Got a Burger King here, and I got a Tim Hortons here. Truck parking, diesel fuel over there. Wow! This is something they needed because Red Deer was always lacking uh, in truck parking. Oh yeah, there's parking spots here. Nice. Tons of parking here. Now we can have our pick. Nice. I want to park right here. Oh, don't want to blind this guy. There we go. Turn the lights off. Nice. Here we go. Right in here. I choose this spot. I think it's a good spot. Very nice. I actually decided to move. <laughs> like I always do. I always say I'm like a dog. I have to circle the lot three times before I find a parking spot. Nothing's changed. But uh, I, I realized that I was parked right beside uh, a Super B filled with uh, gasoline. So I figured, huh, with all these empty spots all across this entire lot, I picked just I picked this spot right beside a big old tank of gas. To, I don't think so, no. Just in case, you know, there's some kind of fire in the middle of the night. I don't want to be right next to the bomb. So uh, I moved to the other side of the lot. Lots of empty spaces. We're good here. Right, Diesel? It's always better not to get blown up, in my opinion. You agree? Yes, I, I, I believe that would be a better option, yes. Thank you for agreeing with me, validating my feelings. It means a lot. So thanks for watching every day, uh, every day and for today. I'm tired. So uh, I hope you tune in tomorrow. We're going to make another video tomorrow. i got to deliver this freight tomorrow into Red Deer, Alberta here, and then go pick up another load and head home. 
I know I've been talking about it a lot, but when we get home, Old Blue is supposed to be ready. It's supposed to be ready. And I realize now that there's uh, a few other people on YouTube and around the world on the internet that call their trucks Old Blue as well. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. There can be more than one Old Blue. Um, I honestly thought it was the only one, so it's not like I was stealing their ideas. I honestly... Britt actually came up with it, my wife. She came up with it, and I thought it was original. It turns out uh, Chase Barber from uh, Edison Motors out in BC, he named his prototype that they're making Old Blue. Uh, he's making a, a diesel electric hybrid truck, and I saw that he calls his truck Old Blue as well. And there's a couple of others, I think, that have been uh, pointed out to me as well. So I didn't do that on purpose, but I think it's okay. I think there can be more than one Old Blue, right? But there can only be one old blue that belongs to me and chase's is old blue like with the d on there mine is old o l apostrophe blue so it is different i don't think he'll mind do you think he's a, he seems like a good guy he's from merit bc I think he's a good guy maybe i can meet up with him one day and we can uh, let the old blues meet i think that'd be kind of cool what do you think i'm gonna stick with the name anyways i like it so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to tune in and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.